<laughs> you roll. Oh. <laughs> so any anytime you want to get in camp. So tell me, guy, what do you how do you feel about homosexuals? No, man, yeah, I I'll tell you, man. When we were in New York, like we were in the RCA building, right? And like I saw like the most disgusting thing I'd ever seen in my life. Mm. I went in the bathroom like to take a leak, you know? And like in the urinal next to me is this guy in like a business suit on his hands and knees eating a piece of urine-soaked bread. I mean, that's sick, right? I mean, like, who's gonna do that, you know? Mm. So I sly-wrapped him in the head and took his wallet, but it's like, it turns out he was one of the guys, like, with RCA that was like, you know, supposed to, supposed to be interested in us, but then like, didn't really work too good after that, you know, but, I mean, like, you know, you know, there's faggots all over the place, man. Like, when we was out in Hollywood, when we was doing a movie, when we was doing a, the picture, uh, like, they're all over, man. I mean, like, you know, take uh, Rod Steiger, you know, Rod Steiger, I mean, he's a faggot. I mean, I'm not saying he is, but you never know, <laughs> you know? They're all right people. Hey, Paulie, tell me, tell me. So, Paulie, tell me what are your some of your uh, musical influences of the uh, of today's music? Well, I, I don't. I'm not really influenced. Like you know, having been like, you know, doing this for like, like it seems like ages, man. Like, I consider myself more an influence than like. The camera flew in the air. <laughs> Hey, Paul, tell me, tell me some of your musical influences of today's music. Well, like in the first place, man, I don't, I don't really, you know, like I've been doing this for so long, man. It seems like eons, you know, like I, I consider myself an influence as opposed to having an influence on myself, you know. But uh. I like a lot of the new bands, man, like, you know, like, man, Mars and The Doors, you know, and, like, The Creams, I mean, those guys are, like, really heavy, that, that tune, uh, what, what the hell is it, Funk 49, man, I mean, like, that's, that's a great Cream song. Um, but, like, other than that, I just seem like, you know, like, the guys I, I grew up with, man, like, you know, I mean, like, John Lennon, man, like, look at, this, look at this new album he's got. He looks like, you know, he looks like he's 20 years old, man. Don't you think? Hey, Ari, let's get a close-up on that. I mean, Donnie, I mean, you know, look at this guy, man. He's unchanged. I mean, don't he look great? <laughs> Should just end the scene with that. <laughs> when you pull up into the camera just before we fell apart and just chop it there. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there anyway. <laughs> Like thanks, Arnie, for that wonderful job, man. <laughs> and, and, yeah, you say thanks, Arnie, for that wonderful job, does. Well, and thanks a lot, Paulie, for being our guest, and we'll close with it. You know, we've been really thrilling talking. Yeah, and tomorrow, tomorrow our guest, Freddie. Uh... Yeah, tomorrow our guest, or, uh, uh, Shaky Green. <laughs> Shaky Green. Shaky Green and, uh, and uh, <laughs> Lou Corelli. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Corelli. Thanks a lot. <laughs> See you Say that. Okay. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, thank you, Arnie, for that. <laughs> for that s spectacular <laughs> close up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Paulie, for being our guest. We'll see you soon. Yeah, that's good enough. Like, something like that.
And then what are the other names? <laughs> Stay uh, tuned tomorrow night. Yeah, no, tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow night. I guess it'll be Heckle and Shackle and... <laughs> <laughs> just make something up, yeah. Just anybody who wants to be on the show. Okay. About Dwight Gooden. Well, Paul, thank, thanks a lot for being our guest tonight. Oh, yeah, man. We'll see you soon. No, you forgot about Audie. <laughs> 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 okay, let me get your feet first. <laughs> All right, okay. Go. Thanks, Audie, for that great shot. <laughs> well, Paul, thanks a lot for being on our show tonight. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> what? Your voice is laughing like this. It was great, but you did. I couldn't. I know. <laughs> All right. You couldn't even see how ridiculous it was. I know how ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. From where? Thank God. Hey, Audie. Thanks a lot for that tremendous shot. Well. <laughs> 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 Don't laugh, man. <laughs> if you don't... <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, Artie, thanks for that tremendous shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just be your point Hey, Audi, thanks for that amazing close-up. So full. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the best, man. Thanks for that amazing close-up. Real deadpan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were going to do with this. Too. Is it rolling? Yeah, it's been rolling. <laughs> All right. Hey, Audi, thanks for that amazing close-up you gave us. Well, Paul, it's been great having you on our show. See you soon. Well, be sure to tune in tomorrow when our guests will be Heckle and Jekyll and Murgatroyd of Montezuma. Good night and see you around. <laughs>